Today in our 2019 Dodge Grand Caravan, we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install the DrawTight Class 3 Custom Fit Trailer Hitch Receiver. So here's what our hitch is going to look like once we have it installed. The cross tube is going to be hidden behind our bumper and all we're going to see is that receiver tube sticking out. Our hitch is going to offer us a 2 inch by 2 inch receiver tube opening and we're going to have a really wide variety of accessories that we can mount up. Now the way we're going to mount any of our accessories is the hitch pin hole here on the side. It is going to accept a standard 5 ace pin and clip. Now these are not included in the kit, but you can pick them up here at eTrailer.com. Now the secondary hole that's towards the opening on our receiver tube is going to be exclusively for the J-pin stabilization device. Now the way that's going to work is we're going to put the threaded section into our hitch pin hole. And then the hook here is going to apply pressure to our accessory on the inside, keeping it from rattling around and making a lot of noise. Now our J-pin is also a locking device, so we'll make sure to keep our accessories secure. And it is sold separately and can be found here at eTrailer.com. And the safety chain connection points are going to be a loop style welded to the bottom of the receiver tube. And as you can see, we'll have plenty of room to get most size hooks on or off. As far as weight capacity is concerned, our hitch is going to have a 400 pound tongue weight, which is the maximum downward force of the receiver tube, along with a 4,000 pound gross trailer weight rating. That's the amount our hitch can pull, including the trailer and everything we have loaded on it. Now it is designed to work with weight distribution systems as well, which is going to be a separate component that's mounted on your trailer. It's going to bump the tongue weight up to 500 pounds and the gross trailer weight rating up to 5,000 pounds. Now with all those numbers in mind, you should always double check your Grand Caravan's owner's manual. That way you don't exceed the manufacturer's recommended weight. I'd like to give you a few measurements and that's going to help you when you're looking for new accessories for your hitch. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the outermost edge of the bumper, it's right about four inches. The measurement's gonna come in handy when you're looking at folding accessories to make sure you have enough room and that they're not gonna come in contact with the rear bumper. From the ground to the inside top edge of the receiver tube opening, it's right about 14 inches. That measurement's gonna help you when you're looking for a ball mount to make sure you find the appropriate riser drop to match up to your trailer. But also at that height, I would recommend a bike rack or a cargo carrier with a raised shank. That way we can get a little bit more ground clearance out of it. Now that we've seen what our hitch looks like and gone over some of the features, let's show you how to get it installed. To begin our installation, we're going to come to the back of our Grand Caravan and we'll come over to the passenger side where our exhaust is. Now we want to follow our exhaust back a little bit to where it's right behind the rear tire. And if we look up on the frame rail, we'll find our hanger. Now we need a little bit of room, so we're going to loosen this bolt up and lower our exhaust down so we can get access to the frame rail. We'll be using a 13 millimeter socket to pull that bolt out. As you can see, our exhaust did come down a little bit, but not enough to really get access to the frame rail. So if we follow our exhaust towards the front, Right in front of the rear axle, we'll have another hanger with that same size bolt holding it in place. So I'll take my 13 millimeter socket, pull it out, and it'll allow our exhaust to come down enough so we have some room to work with. At the bottom of our frame rail, we're going to have several bolts. We're going to pull these out, and the one at the very back of our frame rail, we're going to use a 15 millimeter socket. We want to hold on to the hardware because we will be reusing it. Now on the driver's side, we're going to have two bolts and we're going to pull both of these out. I'm going to be using an 18 millimeter socket to pull these out. And we're going to move over to the passenger side frame rail, but we're only going to have two bolts. The one at the very back and one going towards the front. Now the next set of hands, we're going to lift our hitch up. We're going to make sure you go over the exhaust. And then we'll line up the holes in our hitch with the holes in the frame. We're going to reuse the factory hardware to secure it down. You want to make sure you get at least one bolt in, hand tight on each side. That way the hitch will support itself. We don't have to worry about it falling down. And once you have all your hardware in place, we'll come back with the appropriate sockets and tighten it all up. Then I'm going to come back with a torque wrench 
I'm going to torque all my hardware down to the specified amount in the instructions. On the passenger side, you're going to notice the side plate for our hitch is pretty close to our AC line. Now in our hitch, they do provide us with a loom that can cover up that line and help protect it a little bit better. But as you can see, we got a pretty decent gap here, so we're not going to be putting this on. And with our hitch in place, we can raise our exhaust back up and reinstall the hardware. That'll finish up your look at the Drawtight Class 3 Custom Bit Trailer Hitch Receiver on our 2019 Dodge Grand Caravan.